Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler and today I'm going to open another box of miniatures. It's the Pathfinder Battles. Although I was tempted to uh, try to create some content for the Dungeons and Dragons meme uh, that I have on screen. But then I thought, well, uh, do I have time? And the answer is no, I don't have time. And do I really feel like doing it that much? It's entertaining, but not entertaining enough. So what we have is the Reign of Winter. Been out for ages, but I bought some. And I, uh, I really wanted to see what I would get. Because there's some good stuff on these uh, on these miniature boxes. So let's, let's have a look. Um, Reign of Winter... Been out for a long time. In here, apparently, there's a Russian soldier. I don't really need a Russian soldier, but Baba Yaga would be cool to have Baba Yaga, uh, a goblin alchemist, which I do believe I have a goblin alchemist already. And the ice troll, she's got that luxurious white hair. Um, yes, I would like to have one of them. I can't help myself. Uh, would I date the troll? Probably not. Um, I already have one of these general... Uh, is it male cinders or whatever? Uh, the fox. I don't, I don't really want a fox. I mean, I don't have a fox miniature. But what am I going to do with a fox? I don't want to put the fox out and just have the players decide, ooh, pet. Ooh, kill. It's like, it's a no-win situation for me as far as I'm concerned. I know it would make a interesting familiar or something like that, but yeah, I'm not really too concerned about the fox. And is it uh, Faya, the iconic witch? Be good uh, miniature to grab if, if we get it. Greta, I would be happy with Greta as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my knife. I'm going to open up everything first so I don't bleed everywhere and cut myself accidentally. And then once we've done that, we'll actually have a look. So, got to be quick about this, right? Uh, it is it is cold here in New Zealand. And I'm not as cold as it can be in other places around the world. Um, I can still feel my toes and my fingers. But when I got up, it was very, very chilly this morning, and last night it was chilly, and the electric blanket is getting used, um, and I am starting to realise that not having insulation in the ceiling, I do not have insulation in the ceiling of my house or in my walls. It's a very old house. Uh, I did put it in the floor, but um, yes, it's kind of interesting that I just happened to be opening the rain of winter, and yet... Winter has definitely come to New Zealand. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. I'll, it's funny to me, maybe not to you. All right, here we go. That's the last box. We can get this one open. Uh, almost got my finger there. All right, put that back in there so I don't cut myself and get the box open. Use the fingers and pull it out. Chuck the box out of the way. Empty out the little packages. Oh, it's, uh, let's get the big one out first. Okay, toss that away. Okay, what's this? Move these out of the way. What have we got here? This is a ice troll. It's a chick with a big axe and flying here. I, uh, I don't really advise going out with a date with her, but it's a pretty cool miniature. I don't think I've got anything like this. You can see the bone necklace around her neck, the bones dangling off her waist. Um, a rather odd looking dress, you know, that brown look doesn't sort of uh, say, yes, she's hot. Um, and the axe, the axes look pretty good, backhand. It's a nice sculpt. I wouldn't say the, th and the paint work is fantastic, but I, f I feel like it's good enough. I'm actually pretty happy with that miniature. That's, that's a nice pull. All right, let's get that out of the way. And plastic bag time. <sighs> Uh, that's on a stalk. Oh, got to be careful about those. And pull this off. Rustling noises. Got to make sure you have rustling noises in any unboxing. You've got to make sure that there's lots of popping and noises like this. It's not coming out. It wants to come out, but it's not coming out. There we go. All right. So I feel like, what is these? It looks like there's a couple of elementals here. This is supposed to be, you're barely going to be able to see it. It's a raven. I, didn't I already have, yes, I think I do believe I have a raven already. That's right. It's a raven. I've got another raven. It's flying along. And then, poof, somebody shoots it with an arrow and it dies. Okay, move over. Uh, this looks like a small ice elemental. Because it is. It's got a tail as well. I don't know if you can necessarily make out all of its details, but uh, that's the ice elemental. I don't think I've got anything like this, so this is actually quite nice. So I'm... I'm I'm, it's been really lucky so far. I'm in the Raven. I don't really care about the Raven. But this is nice. I like that one. 
And this is a medium ice golem. Oh, it's not an ice elemental. It's an ice golem. I don't think I have an ice golem. Although an ice elemental kind of seems like an ice golem anyway. But yeah, it's uh, it's got a sort of a bird beak to it, which is kind of a bit odd. This is, I don't believe I have anything like this. So this will be nice to add to my little collection. It's going into the, do I put it into the, um, the construct golems box or do I put it into the elemental box? It's a bit hard to sort of, I'll, I'll just decide. When, uh, when I get there and dependent on which what sizes are there and how much space and things like that. Okay, so that's box number one, which turned out pretty good. Okay, next, pop that out, chuck the box away, pull those out of the way. I don't know what that is. We'll deal with that in a second. And, oh, no, little, little things first. And another thing. Just go, baby, go. Go bust it out. Ugh, without breaking the miniature. Oh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? This is a pale tower guard. Okay. So I got a big shield and a sword and a helmet and some armor, which looks fluffy. Yes, fluffy armor. That's right. I'm serious. It is wearing you see he's wearing somebody's skin. Or fur. It's a fluffy armoured fellow. I don't have anything like this. This is good. I'll use this. I don't know that I'll necessarily use it as an NPC. Uh, maybe a character. I think somebody might use it as a character. This is a zombie panther. Never heard of a zombie panther. Does It, it looks more like a zombie rat. Or maybe is that a, a zombie dog. It's, some, it's a zombie panther. Here, let me get my fingers out of the way. Yeah, there, right there. And you can see its uh, its ribs are exposed, and um, part of its face is rusted off, and um, it's got a tail. It really doesn't look anything like a panther, um, even though it says it is a panther, which I'm assuming it's mean it's decayed quite a bit. It's got teeth, it's got eyes, it certainly looks quite cat-like, but I don't feel like it's panther-like. No. And its, uh, its feet, uh, its feet are bone. Exposed bone. It's kind of an odd way to deal with it. Uh, anyway, I will accept it as a miniature into my collection with open arms. Um, this is a crone queen. Ooh, okay. She's got some sort of funny looking staff clear thing and she's got that flowing hair. I don't know that she's necessarily been using um, Pantene, but uh, I just give you a look at the back because that's the part you want to see right not the front um sorry i'll move it around i'll move it around hang on okay there we go that's that's more what you wanted is the actual front view of the miniature rather than the back view of the miniature Ta -da! i like it i don't know about the spiky things on her head but um i'm sure i will be able to figure out a way of using her in a game eventually with the other miniatures that i have now i had a big miniature get that out of the way. What is this? This is a Keto... Oh, Keto... Belipus. Keto... Belipus. Keto... C-A-T-O-B-L-E-P-A. For the life of me, I just can't pronounce anything right now. It's either I'm tired. Yeah, I'm probably tired. Um, or it's just a silly word. Okay, so this thing looks like a rather over large... <sighs> Cow, well, sort of like a cow and a boar. As a monsters go, I kind of feel like I've been slightly robbed. Because um, it's not hugely exciting. Not a fantastic um, paint job, not a fantastic sculpt, not a fantastically exciting miniature. I feel like it, somebody had started to dry brush it and then forgot to finish. There is a bit of dry brushing there, but yeah, just trot off, mate. Okay, all right, next one. Let's have a look in here. What do we got? And let's throw that away, get these out of the way. And I don't know what that is, we'll see that in a second. And and out of the this is this is this is the bit you showed up for. While I pop little bubble bits, try to get them out of the bubble wrap, and I'll do another one. Yes! Come to me! Come! Ooh, it's a flying thingy. Looks like that's a definitely a flying bird of some kind. Let's get this off. No. Don't stick together. Stop it. Stop it. Get out. There we go. All right. Okay. So let's have a look at the most obvious one, which is definitely, that looks like a bird. 
that is a falcon. I have a falcon on a stalk. It's not a stalk, it's a falcon. So yes, this thing, I'm sure will be useful for players. I, I would not put a falcon in my game as something for the players to interact with because I know what they would do. Um, I know that they would shoot it and eat it. Um, that there might be somebody who want to befriend it and have it as a pet. And the problem will be that everybody else will just take an opportunity when they're not paying attention to kill it and eat it. Um, that's just how some of the people at my group are like. Okay, so this, this is, what is this? This is uh, Nandia. Nandia Pitskake. Pit, pit, she, she's got a cloak and an axe. Okay, here we go. Get my hand in the way. All right, so she's got a bow and she's definitely got a, a pick. That is a pick in one hand. I don't know, can you see the pick? There, pick. And she's got an axe on the other side. And she's covered in some sort of furry white cloak. And she's got a head dress thingy to keep her head warm so her ears don't freeze off. And she's wearing some very sort of uh, trendy looking top and some pants and boots. And this will make a good character miniature. And I'm quite happy with that. That's fine. Good, good. She's tall. My gosh, is she tall. She's like a supermodel. Hang on. Have a look at this. Supermodel. Just about. I feel like she's bent over. He's not. He's short in comparison. She stands up. Whoa. It's uh, She's got to be six foot something. Okay. All right. So this one is uh, a commander. Uh, paramol. Paramol? Commander Paramol? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, green cloak, a bow, and lots of shiny gold armor and a bit of color, and there's a sword there as well. Uh, some big ears, kind of looks like a, kind of bit like a vampire, um, actually, I was thinking. Uh, just um, not with those furry back, is it, that's quiver with some arrows in the back there. Yep, that's right, that is, and that, yeah. Okay, that's a villain, that definitely feels like a villain. All right, that might be a, a villain villain. Okay, move this, close this. This is a, a wallopid. Well, at least I can pronounce this one. It's a wallopid. What am I looking at? It looks, it's white. It's got a brown face. It actually is a not a bad um, mold. You know, the sculpt is pretty good. It looks friendly. I feel like this would be something that if you put in your game, uh, it's better described rather than putting the miniature out because the players are just going to say, oh, we're going to kill it anyway because how much XP is it worth? <laughs> God. I feel like putting this out on the table is just asking for them to w just butcher something that's actually probably quite friendly. doesn't look offensive or angry or hungry or anything like that. It's maybe a mount. Convince them to use it as a mount. Oh, that's a much better idea. This would make a good mount. Okay, last box. I am fluffing around. I realize I should be going fast. My fingers don't move fast enough. Oh my god. Oh, it's terrible. You, you guys saw it. I know you did. I'm going to put it out of the way. So you, so you can't tell what just happened. Oh my gosh. That's not good. Uh, suckos. Here we go. Um, we're going to stick that cell tape. Get that out of the way. That's interesting, I guess. Um, what's this? Come on. Get out. Yep. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Uh, I feel like that just definitely looked like a fox that just fell out there. Right, let's move this out of the way. Oh, there's some nasty repeats on this one. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, let's have a look. at This is this is a F O X. It's a fox. I got the fox. Oh my! I didn't really want the fox. It is a fox. Fox. Look, fox. Definitely a fox. It's got a fox tail. It's got a fox side. It's got a fox face. <sighs> Uh, it's not a bad sculpt. I mean, the miniature itself is reasonably well painted, and the sculpt's pretty good, but I didn't want a fox. But I have a fox now. Lucky me. All right, what's next? Uh, Russian soldier. Not that I really needed a Russian soldier. I feel like the Russian soldier has a gun. Not really going to be very helpful for my games. And is that a grenade? He's carrying a grenade. And has a very strange looking beard. Okay, so Russian soldier, let you have a look at that. And um, 
Thumbs down. Boo, boo, boo. Didn't really want that. I mean, if it had been an American soldier or a Canadian soldier or even a New Zealand soldier, I wouldn't have been very interested either. Um, <clears throat> and I come from New Zealand. Uh, not very fantasy-like. It feels like it's out of place, but it's a Pathfinder game, and I'm assuming the uh, Reign of Winter adventure for Pathfinder involves guns and grenades, apparently. Go away. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. I can... <sighs> All right, so this... This here is a repeat. You remember this one? I now have two. I had one, and now I have two. I suppose it's not a bad miniature to have two of, because it is a female character, which is hard to get. Um, and it's not a bad sculpt, so that's fine. But I now have two, rather than just one, two. Okay, but here is the big dump on my parade here. You remember this thing? The one that I didn't really want to have. <laughs> and I've got one. Look at it. There it is. I've got another one. It's a second one. Oh, boo ho ho. <laughs> oh, well. Suppose you don't win them all. If you're going to open up blind boxes, it's going to happen, right? Eventually, something like this will happen. You'll get something you didn't really want. Which apparently is exactly what's happened. <laughs> uh, let's just move them around. Put those on the outside because. They're not... Which way am I moving? I'm moving this one. I'm moving that one. I'm moving that one. No, I'm moving this one. I'm moving that one, that way, this one, this way, and this one. Blah, 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 something, something like that. So that is basically what I have. <sighs> so my suggestion to you is, you absolutely want to go and watch some of my other videos that have nothing to do with watching me unbox this particular set. I mean, not to say that there aren't some good miniatures in the set, uh, but I've definitely got better miniature videos than this one. And... This has been a little bit of a rude awakening for me. Um, I, sp I suppose somebody's going to say, that's why you should have a 3D printer. Well, <laughs> they, they're not so cheap in New Zealand. And um, yeah, um, I actually looked at the cost of the, the strand stuff. You know, you put it in and load into the 3D printer. It's actually pretty expensive. So check out my um, other videos. Uh, I have ones for players and dungeon masters. You're welcome to go and check them out if you want to. Um, if you want to subscribe uh, to the channel, good. If you want to share the video, by all means, but I totally understand if you don't want to. Um, <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, then um, consider also subscribing, hitting the bell button. That'll notify you when I'm live, when I publish new videos, which I do quite often. Now, this is your opportunity to ask questions if you really want to. I don't know that there's very much to sort of um, add on from here. Um, as a set, I've had better pulls from the set than this one. Unfortunately, I have to say, that would be my the honest statement from me. The honest statement. But anyway, we're done. I've done it. I've had enough. Okay, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.